take um, 30 seconds backwards, Carrie, just to get you caught up. There was a motion seconded um, for another term for me as chair. Perfect. <laughs> Again now. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. Uh, we'd entertain a motion for vice chair. I nominate Ray. A second. Vice chair. Second. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor of Ray as vice chair? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. So we need to adopt newspaper of record. Yeah, yeah, standard standard as and the Valley, Valley News. News as a secondary. Second, is that the motion? Okay. Yeah, I think that's the motion seconded. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Yeah. Motion carries. Uh, Eric? Um, I don't have much today. Uh, just a few things. Uh, first, I want to congratulate the members of the board who were elected yesterday. Congratulations. I look forward to working with you uh, in the coming years. Um, second, I just want to publicly thank the DPW for the work they've done uh, over the last few weeks, especially Monday morning to make sure that the town was ready for town meeting. Uh, we had a very good turnout despite the weather. Um, so I want to thank them for the work they did to kind of allow people to get their town hall safely. Um, the other thing I'll mention is um, the opera survey has been up for two weeks. Uh, so we're working on pulling the data down. Uh, it will be on gender at the next meeting. Have um, my recommendation we have kind of an overall conversation about where the votes were um, and then have a potential in the next meeting after that, maybe how to be prepared for a vote, have a discussion on a vote uh, on the topics if the board uh, chooses to or have, or have a conversation ongoing beyond that. But I think the first step is kind of have our uh, overview conversation on what the survey re re results were and then see where the board wants to go from there. Great. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so permits, we have a number of establishments with liquor and or tobacco permits. They've been submitted on this new electronic format um, that goes to the state and then sent to us with really minimal information and what gets printed out on our end. I don't know what is requested or asked for in the state end. Um, if I could speak that question. Yeah, please. Um, so this got brought up by a member of the board, um, an issue of not having a lot of documentation and information. Um, it's a new system put in place by the states. Um, my understanding is there has been other complaints uh, with other boards across the state uh, that they're not happy with all the information they're getting. Um, but the way the system is put in place now is someone can go online through a portal, submit an application. The state then sends our clerk the documents you have in front of you. Um, according to that clerk, that's all he can see online as well. Um, that gets sent to Nikki, gets then printed into your uh, packet. Mm -hmm. um, upon the select board's approval, it will then go to the state, which will be able to look through all the documentation, I believe. And if anything on their end, they'll be the ones who to extract the permits at that point. Um, so this unfortunately is a procedure put in place above us that as of right now, we have, as far as I know, no control over how it gets presented to us and the documentation here in front of you. Can we find out who at the state we should log a complaint with? I just am I'm continually uncomfortable approving permits that I can't, Absolutely. you know, that are basically blind. Yeah, I'll reach out to our local representation and then uh, I'll go about that as well. I think the primary piece of information that I'd like to see that I think Susan has mentioned this is, is there a violation or not? Like the, the lack of a listed violation might to them mean there's no violation, but if there could be in that portal a section that just says no violations in whatever time, you know, whatever the, um, then we know it wasn't just skips. <laughs> <laughs> to save some trees, given the fact that we get so little information, there's no use even printing out these applications for us in the future. I mean, we have eight pages of nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just if we um, get the application and we just summarize the name, mm -hmm. that would be good. And we don't have a lot of violations. Right. When we do, then we would have to do nothing. Um, if there's 
a violation of their um, liquor license mm. suspended for a week or two, that would, that's not anything. Yeah. And um, we have to do the ones that are new. We have to yeah. do that. And otherwise we would, uh, we would know if we have a problem with someone playing. We would, yeah. Yeah. But I think we can have these emailed out and just we'll have the company and like the boss or whatever. Yeah, that's, right. that's fine for now, but yeah, I think it's, you know, um, if, in the meantime, though, this does appear to be what the state is providing to towns at this time. Um, and I going through it, I didn't see anything that <laughs> it's hard to differentiate. Well, yes. Yeah. But in that, in light of that, I think I would accept a motion to. If my motion would be that we grant them conditioned on our understanding that someone at the state is reviewing them more thoroughly. Yeah. So yeah, just to get us off some liability issues for granting permits. That I second that motion. So motion by Susan, second by Mary to accept these under the condition that the state is has its um, their over oversight. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. And I'll work on the uh, question of what's happening at the state level. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. I don't have any old business. So for new business, we have some administrative appointments, starting with the administrative officer, uh, Stephen Bauer. I don't believe this has, is this in addition to his job or is this not have a term? It lists as three years, but. Was well, three, actually a three year term for yeah. that? I think it's an addition. Correct? It's like an, a, a second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's, in addition to your job, you have this other job. <laughs> I think it's a secondary title. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, so, it's, if, if, so you're fine with me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah please. Uh, so administrative officer is just what they've always had as the uh, session. Okay. So pretty much everybody in the state called the zoning administrator. Uh, and we kind of read all of the planning directors mm -hmm. who don't actually take the steps to do the appointment. And we kind of combine them together. Yeah. We can talk about that at another time. But right now we need a administrative officer or something. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I brought that. I mean, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll correct the municipal manager as. Eric yes. Duffy and delete Bill Kerbin. Um, we want to go down here. Do we have to do a motion for each one individually? I don't think so. I think we can do them all. Now it's just the ones highlighted, right? That have yeah. the that are the, the yellow. And have we confirmed that any of these people want to stay in these positions? I believe nobody has contacted us. I tried to reach out to all of mine, um, and I haven't had anyone say absolutely not. Okay. Um, well, they can always resign. Right. That's right. So we've got, I'll, I'll just read them off real quick. We've got Don Wheeler is tree warden, David Green is health officer, Fred Barr is lumber inspector, Eric. Duffy as delinquent tax collector, myself as truant officer, Brad Prescott as the Two Rivers Planning Commission representative, um, Eric Duffy as the Greater Upper Valley Solid Waste Management representative and the town service officer, Kelly Linton as the pound keeper. Um, Paul Kendall's highlighted but blank title oh it's design review is that design, design review, review. Yeah. That oh, oh i see it's, right. i see yeah. yep um then the same thing brad prescott and alan willard are the development review board al alessi on the conservation committee brad lawrence and susan silverberg on the planning commission thanks viewers for fred barr richard roy and joe luco um 
Michael Malik, Deborah Green, John Spector, and Todd Ullman for the Economic Development Commission. Actually, Todd Ullman, I believe, resigned. Did he resign for that also? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Oh, is he? Okay. Just before. Uh, well, the ABC is looking for another member, so. Um, Michael Taylor. Okay. Michael. Mike. Mike. Yeah, okay. Um, Billings Park Commission, Rebecca Williams, Julian Underwood, and Brandy, uh, sorry, Randy Richardson. Finance Committee, John Spector and Jonathan Wilson. Town Historic Preservation Commission, Matt Powers, Douglas Kelleher, Charlie Degner, Andy Savenko, and Sarah Glasser Tucker. I move the appointment of those above. Okay. Motion by Susan, second by Ray to appoint the listed individuals. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. Did you want to I know there's an agenda and packet schedule? I, mean, I don't know if there was, I, I didn't have anything on it, but I didn't know if we needed to discuss it. Anything? Um, yeah, that was yeah. Mine I was going to bring up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Do you want to do that? Copy ahead. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, now then, the next three topics are things I asked to be on the um, agenda today. Uh, they kind of all combined. Um, but one is I just want to start our ongoing conversation uh, with the board about communication um, internally, uh, how the board uh, communicates with myself and my office, how my office myself communicate with the board. Uh, the most effective way to do that. Um, also, then externally, how do we as a group communicate to the public to let them know what's going on and what's the best way to do that? Um, so, this is kind of the first step of an ongoing conversation. I hope to have uh, to kind of put some guidelines in place or some ideas going forward. Um, and I think we don't do it today, but a later day to kind of open the discussion with the boards about how we want to do this and work together. Um, one of a suggestion we had that's included in the agenda, um, the agenda packet is just almost like a schedule for how the agenda would work. Um, again, we don't talk about this now, but just to get the ideas flowing. Um, as you can see, uh, Jen Adams, we do the ones before meeting, packet details due on the Thursday, packets would be sent out by noon on Friday. Um, and then any questions that the board has about the packet could be directed to my office from Friday to Monday allow my office time to prepare to answer those questions at the, at the meeting on Tuesday. Um, it's just an example of a way to kind of how best can we communicate with each other. Um, so if the board has a question in a meeting, um, I'm not flat, I'm not caught flat foot. I can go and find the mission. Like the good example today is the permit Susan and myself were talking about it. So I had time to go get some answers to be ready also give herself and the public more information today. Um, so that's just one example of something I want to put in place is we all know how best to communicate and then how we can get the word out to the community. Um, so that's one step of, of the communication plan um, that we're happy to have going forward. Um, the second thing on gender kind of related is gender planning. Uh, again, this sprung from a conversation I had um, with, a, with a board member about trying to be more proactive in the way we plan and also get in the way we communicate um, and one of the ideas was we sit down with either a subcommittee or as a entire board and figure out how we want to talk about things throughout the year so for example we know things are coming up can we say you know in july the audit will be on the agenda that way we know it's coming up people ask we say oh that's going to happen in july everyone can prepare, prepare for it we kind of plan the year out um, if there's long term conversations we want to have, let the opera funds, you know, can we say it's going to be on every agenda for the next six months um, and kind of agree to that ahead of time so people are aware of what will be discussed in these meetings um, and people can have really good care and the board itself can kind of help organize itself to know when things will be brought up um, as circumstances exist. Um, so, again, on uh, ongoing conversation, I kind of just want to touch about it today so we kind of know where we go. Um, Susan, I don't know if you want to say anything more about the gender planning. I know that's a conversation you and I had. Um, and, you know, I just think it would be helpful both for us, but also for the public if we have a schedule. I mean, people have been asking for the West, 
for the Woodstock sewer plant discussion to be happening for months now. And I think it would make everybody feel better if we said, okay, it's May or, or whatever. But I feel sometimes we're just reacting to things that happen. And I would love to see us have a plan of what we're going to discuss. You know, the big items, we know that we have, we're all facing some big items. And if we just plug them in, then they don't just keep getting put off. And the only thing on the agenda and packet schedule that I would love to see is that if someone from outside is, is coming to make a presentation, that their materials have to be in before the meeting. Yeah. Because a perfect example was our last meeting. We had two select board members on Zoom, and we were all handed out handed a handout that day yeah. for yeah. That, at the meeting. And the people on Zoom couldn't see it. And, you know, I, I would love to start telling some people, sorry, you know, you know we'll come back next month. And that's a, that's a great point. That's why the things that have it in the book of itself is why I want to talk about it because I don't want to put this in place without a conversation. But it would be if you don't have something by I think we have here Wednesday, then it's not on the agenda till the next meeting. Right. Um, right. And do some research. Um, you know, Vermont has the um, addition to the posted agenda. Um, the guidance of the LCT that should only be using emergencies. When things that can't wait, um, I don't see what to do that, but it could also be a way for us to say has to be in by Wednesday. If not, this is not an emergency, it will be in two weeks from now. Um, so, as you the board, that means every two weeks with the trustees, you have time to 14 days is usually not an emergency. Um, but yeah, that'll, that'll be part of the plan that if it's not in by a certain day, it's not an agenda, it's not uh, going to be talked about till the following meeting. That's great. <laughs> um, but I think when we can have a conversation about this, then maybe have the board vote on it and for the meeting to make sure we're all in agreement on what the rules would be or policy. Great. Sounds good. Um, the last thing I just want to talk about um, is missile manager goals and objectives. Um, I just want to put this on the agenda. Um, I know it was, I know a lot of meetings before I, I arrived uh, since I've been here. We haven't really talked about it publicly, <laughs> um, but I, um, I don't know if it's ever officially voted on or not. Um, I received with the final copy, uh, and I just want to publicly state um, for all the policies agenda, it's my goal to uh, work with this board and the trustees to accomplish all that. Um, the only other thing I'll say about it um, is I would ask for flexibility at, at some point. Um, I've been here for about uh, five weeks now, and I know time is uh, time is not something I, I have a lot of. Um, my goal is to obviously finish all, uh, accomplish all that, but I will be transparent with the boards if for some reason emergencies come up and Things take precedent over something else, um, but I'm fully supportive of all the goals, and I look forward to working with the boards on all of them. Thank you. Very good. Uh, so we have the town of Woodstock application for sewer connection. Francesca, uh, do you want to just come up real quick? So this is for at your property at 2626 East Woodstock Road. Is that correct? Um, and looks like there was a um, development fee that's been, has that been paid? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and you've spoken with Stephen and everything is in order? Or is, was that not part of your office? Yes, but we're, we're still working on payments. Okay. Yeah. So there's not been a permit issue, uh, but you, you don't have to have it in order to to move at this stage. Okay. You probably need this before you can get the state. Yes. Wastewater permit. Right. Well. Yeah. We have and I thought I need capacity. this before I submit my new construction. Yeah. Permit yeah. Too. I believe. I move we approve. I'll second it. Yeah. Motion by Susan, second by Ray to approve the um, wastewater connection permit as submitted. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No, where, no opposed. Where is this? There is my house. Uh, it's right next to the Tasmanian covered bridge. Oh. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're also. Right. Thank yeah. you. So we have <laughs> approval of minutes from February 14th. There. This is the 
joint. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's a typo in B1A. Fees that Hay would like to present. Please. I had to think that one through for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Entertain a motion to approve them. I would move they approve with that correction. If they approve with that correction. Second it. Motion is made and seconded to approve the minutes with that <laughs> correction. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, if nothing else, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Oh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, just on the communication plan, um, if the board members or anyone in the public um, has any ideas or want to talk to me further about it, I'm, I'm open to meetings, conversations, emails, whatever, um, and we start working on it as soon as possible. So I just want to, if anyone have any ideas, come and talk to me and go from there. Okay. All in favor of adjourning? Uh, we need the motion, I think. Is there a motion? Okay. Make it again. That's very good. Make a motion to adjourn. All favor? Okay. Yes. Aye. 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 Aye.